just leaving Leadville. It's a pretty cool road. Mount Massive ahead of us. Had a great stay in Leadville on this kind of main road. Mount Elbert, highest mountain in Colorado. Could be heading down there to Buena Vista and then up into the mountains again. Well, at least this main road is scenic. Average speed is like 28 kilometers an hour. It's really racing down this canyon. Ah, well, that's the second time that's happened. Gone for one of my shortcuts to get off the main road. Turns out it's private property. <sighs> we are back on this main road. And we got locked in. Some gate that was closing. <laughs> Oh, private property, eh? Finally, I think we're in luck. We've got a road that isn't the main road, and it's got a river next to it. This is the Arkansas River. Ah, oh, it's nice to be back on the dirt, away from the cars. Not really had much time on main roads so far, so it's been a bit weird being on such a main road for like 20 miles. Cruising. 30 kilometers an hour for the past 30 minutes. It's an old railway line, I think. I found a rock. It's like that, bigger than this tree. Ooh, spooky. I made it to Buena Vista. Lovely little town. Lots of bakeries, lots of cafes. Just wheel on my bike. So I'm 60k already today, which is great. All right, we're starting to climb back into the mountains. Just had a good lunch in Buena Vista. Big pizza, fueled up for the climb. This lovely backdrop of Mount Princeton over there. Got up Tim Cup Pass. 12,100 feet, I think. The first official 12,000 foot pass. All the others have been just shy. But I'm not gonna do it tonight. Probably go up tomorrow. Hey, cows. This is an amazing valley. Look at that. Look at those aspens up there turning orange. Oh man, this is some steep gradient. Going four kilometers an hour. And you're just making it up. Oh boy, I'm tired. It's 20 to four to 90 kilometers, 60 of which is downhill. But. This gravel road is a bit of a slog. Just keep going up. We're about to hit 3,000 meters, so we're at least getting up towards Tinkup Pass. Just arrived in San Elmo. We're in an old mining town. It's a ghost town. There's my bike. American House Hotel, 1882. It's a bit of a, it's a museum in here. I'm guessing what was the railroad is now the road. You can see from Denver, left at 8.15, and I got to St. Elmo at 5.01. We're gonna check out the school. It's doubled as the church. That's the old post office. A lot of chipmunks. Yeah. We've got our first sign for Tim Cut Pass. And that's camping permitted beyond this point. Just gotta find a spot. I'm looking for a spot that's flat and isn't muddy. And they're two and far between. 
So I'm just gonna keep walking for a bit. Good morning. It's another chilly night in the tent. That sun's rising. Food is still there. Up the tree. It's intact. Bears didn't get the food. That's good. I've had breakfast. I've packed up most of the bike. But I'm still here in my tent. Uh, it's zero degrees. It's really, really cold. And I don't have long fingered gloves, so I feel like if I start cycling, my hands are going to get really, really cold. So I'm just going to wait for the sun to peep out, which is just starting to do. Let's see. And uh, then get going. But right now, just le listening to my book, just chilling out in the tent. I went to bed at eight and woke up at seven. So. Um, woke up in the middle of the night there quite a few times. I still can't get comfortable on my sleeping mat. It's still really, really cold. Um, I think I need to get a new sleeping mat. It's insulated. Because I just, re yeah, really cold last night. <laughs> anyway, looking forward to today, going up over Tin Cup Pass. Um, 3,700 meters highest I'll probably be on this trip, which is cool. And um, yeah, just... Looking forward to getting to Crested Butte, which is a big biking town, apparently. Um, should get there today. Um, it's maybe like 40 miles. But most of it's downhill because we're quite high altitude here. Okay, we're ready to go. Bike's all loaded. Tent's packed away. Sun's out. It's a bit warmer. Oh, I cut myself. My lips are really dry. Let's get up Tin Cup Pass. We'll see you up there. I feel the altitude though. <laughs> we're at 3,150 is where we camped, so we're going that way. That's the Jeep track we've been coming up. Bit of a switch back, and that's where we camped back in there, down that valley. 3671. I think we got about. 50 more meters of climbing to do. Look at that view. Some bits are rideable, some bits are gonna push. This bit is pretty rideable. Look at that, 12,154 feet, highest I've ever been. And in meters, that is about 3,700. So yeah, it's getting a little chilly now, so I put my jacket on. And we're gonna be descending down that side. Just where there was a whole bunch of motocross bikers that just came up here, so I just uh, let them let them go on. Yeah, feeling really good. It's early morning. Going to do a big descent and then take the paved road up into Crested Butte um, and yeah, find a campground. I guess it's funny. As soon as the clouds come over, it gets really chilly. When the sun's out, it's super hot. It's like this weird, weird difference. But yeah, crossing the continental divide again. Look at these views. Rocky. Ah, oh, it's starting to rain. I just got back into the tree line. We just descended off Tin Cup Pass. Down to this nice lake, I think it's called Mirror Lake. Uh, but the road's a bit rocky. And it's raining. We're in Tin Cup. I'm guessing it's an old mining town. Went through Tin Cup. Apparently, it was actually for gold mining. A bit chilly, but the sun's coming out. A bunch of thunderstorms behind me and ahead of me, so I'll try and stay dry. Just over those mountains is Aspen, a famous ski resort. Apparently, full of billionaires, according to the locals. Ah, back on the paved road. A bit stormy. Apparently there's a little cafe here, so I'm gonna get myself a soda. I haven't really drunk any water today, so I need to hydrate. It's been pretty rainy. Ah, oh, 
Oh, this isn't a very fun descent. We've got wind against me the whole way. A really strong wind. So I'm only going like 16 kilometers an hour. Whereas, if I didn't have the wind, I'd be blasting down here. It's a bit of a shame. I've camped a bit earlier today than I would have liked. It's just that downhill was just so much headwind. Normally on a downhill, you just cruise down but it was real tough going. But I'm not in a rush and it looked like there weren't any campgrounds or good places to camp between here and Crested Butte. Like Crested Butte's a, like a resort town and all the hotels there are super expensive and there's no campgrounds open. So yeah, I kind of like decided to call it a bit early today and then tomorrow we'll do a big day, go all the way up to Crested Butte all the way over Schofield Pass, which I'm really excited about, up into the mountains again. <laughs> it's sort of like up and down all the time. Um, but yeah, found this really nice camp spot with these amazing cliffs behind. And I think I should go for a swim. I don't really like the cold, but I feel like, given the fact there's a really nice bit of water there, I feel like I should do it. I'm feeling a bit sticky anyway, but I felt the water and it feels real cold, so. I think we should go for it. Okay, let's go for a swim, got my towel, my shampoo. Oh, I'm a bit scared of the cold. Oh. those of you who like maps, I will give you a quick overview of our route so far. So from Boulder, we went west um, all the way over here towards Eagle. Uh, then we headed over towards Leadville in the last video. And then in this video, we went south from Leadville to Buena Vista here downhill before turning up to go back into the mountains and up and over Tin Cut Pass, which is just here. Uh, in the next video, we'll be heading over towards Crested Butte and Western Colorado. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the next video, we'll be going up and over Schofield Pass, another big um, rocky pass uh, in the Rocky Mountains. Um, so look forward to, to posting that one soon. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, um, we'd love it if you could like and subscribe. You'll get updates on, on future videos. I'll be posting uh, more very soon. Um, yeah, see you in the next one.